This is the donkey field. Why is it That's called the donkey field? Any idea? Um, I think it's pretty obvious, really, isn't it? <laughs> what well, did they, one donkey, two donkeys? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How many do you want? I think no. Yeah, it's it's about the only green space we've got, sort of within the borough. So if we just look at where we are on here, there's the church, the church over there, and, and the church, and we've just been looking at this space here and the garden there, and we've just come through the wall here into this area. Mm -hmm. This is the donkey field. We had a very, very huge mortuary layer, the first sort of couple of three layers. There's lots and lots of mortar in there. Right. I think we've got an earlier soil with this scoop or pit in yeah, it with a load of 18th century pot. demolition material dumped into it. Yeah. And so if we can get that out the way, uh, hopefully we can get at what should be the earlier layer <laughs> underneath. Yeah. So I've just done some jiggery pokery on the church door yeah. and I reckon that we, we've got something like five metres from the top of the wall to the, to the medieval level. Ah. And we're, we're, <laughs> we're at about 4.3. <laughs> Either side of this wall, it's the same characteristics as um, obviously modernish topsoil. Then there's a 17th century layer, and the 17th century layer here has been producing residual medieval material of the 13th, 14th century date. Before we dug these, we had no idea whether we were going to get relatively deep stratigraphy, whether we were going to be down onto natural very quickly. So this is great. Thank you very much. Great. Oh, yeah. We Hello. haven't forgotten about you, honest. <laughs> How you getting well, on? You'd all gone back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Oh, right, we've loads got some of some Right, we're going to have to get some bits. fines washing going here. Because none of this is yeah, washed. Um, <laughs> so, you're going to have to peel somebody off from the crew and get them scrubbing. Now that, for instance, is a rather nice piece of 17th, 16th, 17th century earthenware. This was like a complete jungle when we took it on mm -hmm. three years ago and we got rid of about uh, 12 apple trees and, and total neglect because the old job boy Bill who lived here couldn't look after it and his wife had died previously so he had exactly the same. It was a complete jungle on the other side so he cleared an awful lot of it. Mm -hmm. He found the spear just opposite the end of our shed up there. Okay. So it was the other side of Conduit Lane, fairly near Conduit Lane and it was about seven inches down in the, from, from the surface level, which is probably undisturbed because if it is Anglo-Saxon, people obviously uh, lived and worked over this area over the centuries, and they must have just, you know, not, not disturbed that at all, so he found it. He gave it to me because knowing I was a historian, mm -hmm. he, he thought that I, I would be more relevant, and I took it to the um, Heritage Centre, as I say, where they thought it was an early medieval hunting spear, and then the information on that, which you've just read, refers to the similarity to an Anglo-Saxon spear.